Go Jackers. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Rec Talk. And today is the first day uh, that the portal is open. So it'll be open today, April 16th, and then it will close two weeks from today, April 30th. Before we, we talk about Tech Portal, what's going on with them in day one, can I just say kind of how sad it has gotten? I was talking in the Discord. If you're not a member of the Discord, there's a link in the description for that. Um, about how sad it is that a lot of college football talk and a lot of the college football narrative has nothing to do with college football anymore. It has to do with lawsuits, court cases, Portal, NIL, all this stuff that, that doesn't have anything to do with football. It used to be the only thing we really got excited and talked about that didn't have to do with football was like recruiting. That's what we talked about in the offseason. Remember when the offseason used to be about recruiting? <sighs> One day we'll tell our grandkids about that. Anyways, um, mostly no big surprises for Tech. There is one. Um, but for the most part, nothing unexpected. Gavin Stewart gave his intent. Uh, he's in the portal kicker. He was a part of the 2019 class. Um, I'm assuming he has one year of eligibility left. He's uh, listed as a true senior. Um, hate to see it. I hope, and, and this goes for all these kids. I hope the best. I get it. You go somewhere. It doesn't work out. Everyone's transferring. You know, we'll, we'll talk about some kids that have transferred. They're like on their third transfer now. They transfer every year. Uh, and honestly, that's why we just have to accept where we are. And, and they're going to have to come out with contracts for these kids. Just say, hey, you sign a contract for two years. Um, you know, that's your commitment to the team. Here are the terms to break the contract, et cetera. Anyways. Yeah, we talked about Gavin Stewart. James Blackstrain, wide receiver. He was a four-star on some uh, recruiting agencies from uh, Florida. And another one that's kind of a heartbreaker, he tore his ACL his senior year of high school coming into Tech. It seems like he's been injured the entire time. Um, what I don't know if it was in Bryce Coon's Discord. No, it wasn't. It was on Twitter, I think. Someone was saying like, oh, if you look on the message boards um, – there's there's more going on there, but I won't talk about it here. Um, I don't put a lot of weight into what like news, like credible things that are said in and in, in, like those in the message board. So I didn't even look at it. I don't know. Far as I know, you know, I hate it for the kid. He's battled injury his entire time here. I also think he's really talented. Um, he also gave his intent to enter the portal before um, it opened. Eric Reed, that one kind of hurts. Uh, Four-star cornerback. He's class of 2022. Um, he'll be entering the portal, and we'll talk about it in a second. We've had a lot of cornerbacks hit the portal. Uh, a lot of cornerbacks. What that tells me is that um, Saeed Gibbs and who was the other guy? Warren. Was it Warren Butler? We're about to find out. Yeah, Warren Burrell. Warren Burrell out of Tennessee have probably shored up those spots, and we got some reserves behind them that are pretty solid. Um, and, and again, you don't know how much of this is driven by the staff. Uh, if you've heard um, Joe Gilbert uh, come on the show, previous uh, Georgia Tech offensive lineman, 2009 ACC championship or champion, he'll tell you, the unwritten way of telling kids to transfer without telling them to transfer goes goes back way before Paul even. So I don't know how many of these kids it's like, hey, you, you're realistically not going to play here. You're not, you know, you, it's probably in your best interest to hit the portal. I do think Eric Reed hurts, though. Uh, talented quarterback. Uh, we're worse off probably not having him on the roster. Um but I haven't seen much of them. Aiden Simo, walk-on quarterback in the portal, class of 2022. Um, he was offered by like Princeton and some other places, so he's probably you know an academic type guy. He's from Rabin Gap too. We've been we've really been getting kids out of Rabin Gap. I don't think I've I've talked about it in a video, but we also signed a kid in this recruiting class, or not signed, but verbal intent, whatever. Um, Four-star lineman out of Rabin Gap, highest rated recruit they've ever had. Uh, all the, you know, since Key's taken over, our offensive line's been ridiculous. But uh, anyways, Aiden Simo played in the spring game. You know, 
Good to see. I uh, hope the best for him. Justin Brown, this is a kid that's now on his second transfer. Uh, he transferred from Mississippi State in 2023, and it seemed like he was going to play defensive back here. He played wide receiver at Mississippi State. You know, everything happened with Mike Leach and uh, their coach getting fired who followed him. Anyways, he came in, um, I think, with the intent to, to convert and play defensive back. Guess that didn't work out. He will be entering the transfer portal. And then Stephen Jones Jr. Sorry, like I just I got to drink some Diet Coke. I love it. Um, cornerback, I think he's a three-star cornerback at Alabama, class of 2022. He's the second cornerback that has announced since the spring game that he will be hitting the portal. Oh, and how could I forget? The one surprise on here is Ao Tafasi. Now, if you watch the live show where Sea Dog and I talked about this uh, spring game, I was impressed with Ao Tafasi. Um, he looks like a specimen. Just looks like a kid that just needs a little bit of development and could be something special. He's been on campus all of two months, I guess, uh, and he will be hitting the portal. Now, I don't know have any have I don't have any way of knowing this. Okay, so don't get mad at me if I'm wrong. And this is what I'll, what most people's reaction to this is, and it's mine. This is probably an academic thing, and um, that is not taking a dig at this kid. Georgia Tech is not the kind of school that you can come in and play football at and just dis and not really put any effort toward academics. There are other schools like that. They're called SEC schools. Um, Take it in one of those places, and look, unless you've been a student at Tech or a place like it, um, it's hard to really have the perspective. I don't know how you could play Division I college football at Georgia Tech and major in anything harder than what they all major in. And they all, you know, look, they have to take their math there. Um, it's not an easy out, so... Maybe he got in and, you know, his grades are, are not good and he just realized this wasn't for him. Totally reasonable. Don't hold that against the kid. Hope the base, best for A.O. Ty Fossey. I do think he's a very talented player. Now, where are we hurting right now? No surprise what we've been talking about. Defensive line. We need we need some more defensive linemen. We've had nine people now with A.O. Ty Fossey hit the portal. And we've only brought two people in. And that's not including, none of this is including kids that graduated last year. So it's actually a little bit worse than what I'm saying. But Malcolm Pugh, Bryson Dixon, Ezra Odenjar, Jason Moore, Edna Oza Rubin, um, Daquan Dallas, Io Tavasi, Noah Collins, Kyle Kennard. All nine people that are transferring out. The ones that really hurt, Kyle Kennard, Daquan Dallas, they were both starters last year. Um, and Ao Tafasi hurts. I mean, look, he was brought in uh, to fill some holes we had there, and um, you know that leaves us wanting only two in. Uh, now that's Jackson. What is that kid's name from Furman? Uh, Jack Barton and uh, Jordan Vanderberg. Now Jordan Vanderberg's a pretty big pickup, really strong kid. Uh, I don't think he's on campus yet. I think he's still finishing up his degree. Um, but yeah, we we need it. We probably need two or more defensive linemen out of the portal. And we, uh, now I see we've lost a lot of cornerbacks. So we've got five cornerbacks that have left, um, two that have come in. Uh, the two that have come in, I just named Said Gibbs and uh, Warren Burrell. We're losing Keenan Johnson. We're losing Kenyatta Watts in the second. Uh, K.J. Wallace. Uh, by the way, Kenyatta Watson transferred to Georgia State. Uh, he'll be going uh, to reunite with uh, Zach Gibson at Georgia State, who, aside from him playing Georgia Tech on the schedule this year, I hope the best for. That kid made a liar out of me and really developed and came along. Um, anyways, Keenan Johnson, Kenyatta Watson the second, K.J. Wallace. Um, all of those hurt, honestly. Uh, Eric Reed and Stephen Jones Jr. So we'll probably be looking um, to pick up one, maybe two cornerbacks out of the portal. Now, 27 total people have, or athletes have transferred out. We've had 10 come in in this portal class. So I don't know exactly what the scholarship situation is. 
looks to me like we got quite a we're, we're in a good spot scholarship wise to give. Um, you know, the only thing I'm worried about, I don't think we got a word about really kids getting poached out uh, on defense, but offensively, if you need an offensive lineman, um, if you need a wide receiver, and really even if you need a running back, like Jamal Haynes would be a good pickup for somebody. Um, everywhere but tied in, I could see someone offering one of those kids a bag, like Ethan McKinney I think would be a great pickup for somebody. Jordan Williams, Weston Franklin, if you need a center, um, Joe Fusel, like all of these kids, uh, I would be worried about getting poached. But I do think the one thing Tech has on the offensive line is they have an offensive line head coach. They have a good offensive line coach in Jeep Wade. They're going to get developed. Yeah, and this is going to be the thing to consider for all these kids. We kind of talked about it um, with uh, Jeff Sims coming to finish his degree. Um yeah, you can go get a bag and maybe be, get lost in the shuffle at one of these other schools and, um, you know, never your talent really never being realized. Uh, or you can stay at Tech, especially if you're an offensive lineman. And th there's going to be more than one offensive lineman drafted off of the starting rotation we have. So I, I would say that's something to consider. Who are we in the hunt for uh, up to this point now? All of these have come from Jackson Caudell. Shout out to him, uh, writing for Sports Illustrated. Um, which he's getting off of Twitter. Surprisingly, Ohio State four-star running back uh, out of high school entered the portal. Uh, Dolan Hayden, talented kid, backup role, and but even in a backup role running back, Ohio State had like 500 plus yards rushing. Talented kid has been contacted by Tech, or that's you know there's some interest from Tech there. Um, makes me think that we might lose a running back in the portal. Um, I don't think we got to worry about Anthony Carey, but maybe Tr Trey Cooley, if he's not in that second role, um, maybe Chad Alexander transfers out and we want to get another one in. Um, what school is this? Uh, we have a grad transfer, FAMU, Florida Atlantic, or Florida A, a like Florida A&M, anyways. Defensive line grad transfer Sharif Say. Uh, there's some interest there. I don't think we've offered yet. Sounds like we've reached out, contacted him. Uh, and then the big one, the one that would be a really big get, I mean, they all would be for Tech. USC cornerback, 94 overall rated out of high school, four-star uh, Traquan Fegans. I'm probably butchering his last name, um, has been contacted by Tech per Twitter. Good impressions from Tech. And one other school. Now, the, he will be, um, let's see, he transferred. He originally went to Alabama in 2022. Last year, transferred to USC. Uh, so this will be his second transfer. Um, this will be a big get for Tech. We need some more depth at cornerback. Um, and we've already talked about, look, we need cornerbacks. We need defensive linemen. Um, and we need to probably preempt, like us contacting this Ohio State running back, anything we think we're going to lose. Um, but I think we're going to be okay coming out of this portal. There's going to be more kids that hit the portal, by the way. There, there's going to be several more kids that hit the portal before uh, it closes. The win for Tech is, one, to shore up the defensive line and cornerback. Really, we need defensive transfers. Um, maybe even one more linebacker, though I think we're okay at linebacker right now. And you got to you got to not lose something key off of your offense. If you we probably could be okay if one of the wide receivers hit the portal, uh, we could withstand that. Uh, we need to keep the offensive line together for continuity. Like losing, you got you got to prevent losing key starters on the offense too. And I think that's possible for Tech. But any look, if you get offered enough money as one of these kids, like you're going to transfer. We know Eric, Eric Singleton Jr. has been transferred. I think we're probably okay with him. I don't think he's in a situation now where someone would offer him enough money to leave. He already you know, said he's committed to staying, said people have offered him a bag of money. But there are numerous, probably hundreds of examples of kids that say, hey, I'm committed, and then hit the portal a week later. I think if he goes off again this season, has a big season, then he'd be in danger if someone offered him enough money to 
um, kind of go back on that. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think tech can be, you know, I think tech can do some good things. I think tech can get some kids in to plug up some holes they have on defense. Tell me what you think in the comments. Y'all have a good one.